Hello and welcome back to my humble show. Politically speaking, I value character over charisma and cause over candidate. But I also believe in rooting out corruption even when it's inconvenient. A perfect example would be about George Santos. I mean, I just can't bring myself to pretend that Congress would somehow be better off with a pathologically lying con man in it. Even if he was a guaranteed vote on my preferred packages. I'm just not willing to invert my own integrity to pretend that he's the one that got away. Yet now that his seat has been won by a Democrat in a special election, therefore bringing Republicans to the brink of minority status in the House, an awful lot of Republicans are blaming everything but Santos, or the trends which led to the culture of corruption and loss in the first place. I say, if a liar and alleged criminal is what's standing in the way of a Democrat takeover, then Republicans don't truly deserve to win anyways. I'm not saying that I'm hoping for a downfall, but I do feel like operating strategically rather than ethically only goes so far, especially when the operating party can't even consistently pull that off. Lastly, consider a sports team. Maybe a basketball team. If a team makes careless play after careless play, and then a key player fouls out in the clutch. Don't just blame the referees for the loss. Stop talking crap and correct your craft. Be sure that you're doing what's right before scolding others for doing what's wrong. And don't expect liars and their lies to preserve the truth. Those are words to live by both politically and generally. So, to the GOP, stop whining and start winning, and I'll remind you that sore losers make for poor winners. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Keep in touch. Keep in tune. New content is coming soon. Peace.